Hey guys! Hi! We have current empties for you today. Our favorites. We love filming <laughs> these because you just feel so... I love throwing stuff away. You do. I just and you're didn't like, say it. Like, Wes went to pick up something, like a little packet that I'll show you a little sample, and I was like, Don't go in the trash! And he's like, oh my gosh, like, okay? relax. I'm like, I had to keep it from a video. So, yeah, yeah, Chris has never even asked. Like, I've been keeping this bag. It's a little Sephora that bag in the bathroom for like the past month or so. And he has not asked why I keep putting stuff in it. He probably is like, she's cuckoo. She has resorted to hiding her stuff in <laughs> Sephora shopping bags now. Um, but yeah. Funny. All right, so let's okay. get to it. You know, let's we always get. like to show you our candles from Bath and Body Works that we finished. Yes. And I feel like I went on a candle burning binge. Mm -hmm. um, the first one that I finished up is this Villa Bergamot, which I really love. Jamie gave me this one. Um, and I love that the scent of bergamot, so she knew that it would be right up my alley. And I did really <laughs> love it. Um, I'll go through, if it's okay, just yeah, you do yours and three do that I have. This one is Tis the Season, which obviously I finished up post-holidays. And, you know, because sometimes that happens. You buy them and you can't get through them. Mm. And then this one's one of my favorites, too. Flannel. Really love that. I burned that in my bedroom. It also has bergamot in it. So, yeah, you can't go wrong with me with bergamot. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. It's one of her favorites. Yep. Um, I finished this little champagne toast. Uh, had this in my bathroom. Love it. Has anything to do with champagne? Love it. And this is one that Mindy picked up for me. Uh, it smells really good. I want to smell it. I I'm like, it's going to smell burnt. Yeah. Loved it. Uh, red velvet cupcake. Yes, please. I want to <laughs> eat it and burn it at the same time. Love these scents. I think I might have one more of those. And marshmallow fireside. If there ever was a candle this holiday, winter, whatever, mm -hmm. that I wish that I had gotten about four of them, it would have been this one. And yeah. I only got the one, and fabulous. Loved it. Very cool. I think that's all the candles down in here. Okay, cool. Um, I finished up my Aveda Air Control. I love this stuff. I wish that I picked up um, another bottle the last time I was at my salon getting... Mm -hmm. No, it sounds like there's a little bit in there, but I wonder if that's just like air because there's definitely nothing yeah. spraying out anymore. It's a good one. This stuff, it's a, it's a really lightweight hairspray. It smells. But the, the reason why I buy it is because of the smell. Um, I mean, it does. It's like a combination for me between a really lightweight dry shampoo and a hairspray mm -hmm. um, because it doesn't do either or majorly. Right. Like it's kind of, it's just one of those like floats right in the middle. Very, very flexible. Um, very workable, but gosh, just smell oh, it. I, love I it. wanted I wanted to do this. Like, can you guys smell it? Um, it I think it's so one good. of those good hairsprays that, like, if you've gone to the gym and like maybe you you were sweating a little bit and you, mm -hmm. it's dry, but you don't want to wash your hair, you want to dry shampoo the next day. That's a good I idea. think these are nice because they kind of refresh your hair, yeah. make it smell good. Good idea. Yeah. Thanks, girl. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just stop with these Tide Pods. <laughs> done. Make that super fast. Stop. I finally bought. The big, the big thing, so okay. hopefully you won't see these in every freaking one we do. I finished one of my Caress um, body washes. This is the Scarlet Blossom Fine Fragrance Elixir in red lychee and patchouli oil. And I really liked this. I saw Tammy at Uppies Beads 59 talk about the Caress body washes. And I had bought two of them back in like the early fall mm -hmm. and I just was using other things um trying to finish up other things and I finally got around to using this crest one and I feel like I feel like I went through it within yeah. you know like two or good. two or three weeks and it was it was really nice like sounds it. good I will buy those again I have a black amethyst shower gel it's a travel size from Bath and Body Works I forgot how much I love this scent until I I had I like that I know that one. half of one it smells good. It does smell good. It smells light, mm -hmm. yet sexy. Yeah. Almost yeah. could be unisex. It could. Yeah. I really like that one. I wouldn't mind having this in a full size. Cool. Okay. Oh. Um, all right. I finished. I finished. I, fin I finished. I feel like I finished a lot of um, Bath and Body Works stuff. This was the body lotion in the scent Amber Blush. I really liked this. Chris liked this as well. He I always complimented me when I wore this one. Ooh, it smells, that smells really good. Very good and light and very feminine. You know what um, it reminds me of? Hmm. 
the secret cravings from Victoria's Secret just a That's little bit. It. It's a little different, but it's mm -hmm. in the same family. I would totally buy that. Yeah, I wish. Hold on. There's a little bit right here in the lid. <gasps> look at all that I just got out. Sorry, I had to do that. Because, look, there is. I couldn't get that to come out. <laughs> But there was totally a little bit still in there. Friends don't let friends, friends don't let waste friends lotion. Waste body lotion. No. It smells really Doesn't good. It? Do you I guys like use it. this one? Amber blush. It's good. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, Chris always really liked it, and you know, it's for husbands to like compliment you on uh, something that you're wearing wearing scent wise. It's nice. It's really nice. Like it should go good. Yeah, I like it when he does that because I try to compliment him on like when he wears like. You know, his colognes or, yes. you know, because he doesn't wear them all the time. But, like, even his, like, Axe body sprays and stuff. When he wears those, I'm like, hey, baby. Sometimes I'm like, babe, you smell good. And he's like, Duh. okay. I'm like, what is it? He's like, my deodorant. <laughs> it's okay, too. <laughs> um, I finished up the Body Shop Choco Mania Body Lotion. I bet Loved that Loved this good. stuff. Yeah, you want to take a whiff? Yeah, I'm I think whiff. they still. Let me take a hit. I think they still have it. I liked it. It's a little mm -hmm. sweet. But I liked nice. it. I liked it a lot, and I liked it for cooler months. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. I finished up a little um, Bath and Body Works antibacterial gentle foaming hand soap in vanilla snowflake. Love those. Mm -hmm. All right, since we're kind of oh on, my gosh, kind of on body. I think I remembered what most of these were. Oh my okay. gosh! How one of them. Remember? This is all from Lush because one of them was the Melting Snowman. Okay. And I loved it. And I'm not sure. Okay. The other one was the penguin bubble, bubble penguin that you, you know, it's like a bubble bar, but it's a penguin. Okay. It was for the holidays. That may have been one of my favorite scents ever, and I can't wait to get that again next year. Cool. And I think this last one was Christmas, oh, it was Christmas Eve. The one with the purple and the orange. I think that was a bubble bar as well. Love the holiday ones. Yeah. Yeah. Love some lush. Sorry, that's so loud. <laughs> okay. I'm having a place to put on. They're so loud. One way to get Love rid those. of this. Okay. All right. Another little um, lotion that I finished up. The Bath and Body Works Carried Away Signature Body Lotion. Um, and I like this one too, but this is one that... I feel like it's been sitting around for a really long time. I don't know that I would buy this one, the Carried Away again, but I would definitely mm. buy Amber Blush again. Bath and Body Works kick, representing right here. And <laughs> no, we, I wish we got some free stuff, but we don't. Honey, no, Vermont Honey Apple Golden Sugar Scrub. This is one that Mindy shared with me. Yeah. I cut this thing in half to get to it. And someone asked us recently, why do you cut things in half? You will be shocked. Mm -hmm. if, if this was all gold and you couldn't see what was left, you'd be shocked at how much product's left and a tube like this that you can cut, whether mm -hmm. it's makeup or hand cream or whatever, yeah, it's crazy what doesn't come out. Yes. Nuts. Cut everything. If you can cut All right. It. This was a body lotion that I really, really loved, and I am definitely going to buy a full size of. It's the Soap and Glory Body Butter Cream and Sugar Crush. I'm going to tell you guys right now that if I have something that I could eat that I shouldn't eat because it's a body product or it's maybe toxic to eat, <laughs> it would be this. But I have even considered thinking that it might be worth it to just see what it tastes like. She's raved over this oh ever gosh. since she started using it. Um, I love the scent of this. I think my Chris loves it. My dogs love it because they come up to me and they want to like smell me. Ruger even oh. comes up to me and like licks me, and I'm like, I am so jealous of you that you get to like lick this because I smells kind of lemonade. Know. Lemonade. -y. It's like um. Like limeade. Yeah, it's citrusy, but it is so good, and I really enjoyed it for the past month or so because I this, like that. This was a Christmas gift from a coworker. Um, but I will definitely be loving, I'll be all over this come summertime. Like, you will see me slathered in this come summer. Yeah, and when she goes to England, she's probably gonna... I'm gonna buy it She's gonna have bulk. to ship some stuff back. Bulk buy. Um, I finished this little shampoo and conditioner. It's beauty protector. Um, we got these in birch boxes. I love, love, love the smell of these. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't really like how my hair looked after it I used it. It kind of stopped at the smell. Yeah, it, it just seemed like my hair was dry or it was just a little weird. So I used the shampoo. I still had conditioner left and I used the conditioner to shave my legs with. There you go. Nice but the dog. smell is insane. I just didn't love the... Alright, I finished up this Caudalie cleansing water. I'd had this one for a while. 
excuse me. Um, I like cleansing waters. I, you know, I ma makeup removers mm -hmm. are great. And I mean, that's what I use 99% of the time. But every once in a while, I like to try a cleansing water. The next one that I have up, I don't know that I would, I wouldn't seek out buying the Caudalie again. Um, but right now I have the Cogent Doe. Uh, that I'm going to go to. I hauled that like a couple months ago, but I haven't even opened mm -hmm. it yet to use it because I was finishing up other things. Um, let's see. I have two masks that I've done recently. One is this Forever Luminous Hydrating Facial Wrap, and it's in Honey and Collagen, and it is supposed to... It's glowing anti-aging benefits at 20 minute facial therapy. So it's one of the paper masks mm -hmm. that is wet and you put it on your face and you look like an alien <laughs> and you sit for 20 minutes. Um, I really like these. You know, I don't know if they're working, but I'll tell you that I, my face feels good afterwards. Yeah. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel tight. Um, I don't know. You just know that you're giving your face some love when you do those. Uh, and this I really liked. This was a maskology. It was an eye mask. Um... It reduces puffiness under the eyes, helps brighten and refresh the eye area, revitalizing eye gel with pearl powder. I think I put one of these things back in here just to... Oh, wait. What happened to it? What happened to it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So they look... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I thought it was something wrong with it. I just want to show you what they look like because I've never done an eye mask like this. And now if I find these... These were totally coated in a thick gel. They're no longer... But they look like this, and they're in a cool. thick gel, and you place them up under each eye, and you let them sit. Uh, they were, you know, obviously this is not something I kept in the refrigerator or anything. It just stayed. But that would probably feel good. It stayed so cool. Mm -hmm. Like, this is great for everyday stress. If you mm -hmm. are stressed out, let's say if you've been crying, mm -hmm. um, the coolness, it just felt so good. Awesome. I want to find these. This was a sample I got from somewhere. Um, I want to get some more of those. I like those a lot. Um, I finished up the Paracone MD Face Finishing Moisturizer. This was the uh, one of the products that we got in our QVC New Beauty Test Tube in October. And I will tell you, this took me a good while. Wow. And I used it. I used it consecutively. Like I didn't I didn't ever set it aside and not use it for like days or weeks at a time. I really like it. I use it like every day, um, while I had it. Yeah, and morning and morning and night. It has a little bit of like a scent to it, but it's yeah. not an a it doesn't bo it didn't bother me once I yeah. got it on my face. It was really hydrating. Mm hmm Okay. Um Okay. <laughs> She's Sorry. She's gone digging. I have one more mask that I finished up. Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask from Bliss. This also was in our test tube that we got. Uh, you guys, I got probably nine or so masks out of this. Mm -hmm. It's the one that Mindy, we have an old video where mm -hmm. she, she showed it, and it bubbles up on your face. It took me a hot second to get used to that feeling because it almost felt itchy. Tickles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I did really like that. I thought that was a fun mask. Very okay. cool. Um, I finished up some of my Crest 3D White Looks. Looks. Lux. Whatever. Um, and Glamorous <laughs> White. This is my favorite toothpaste. My favorite. I love it. Um, I hoard this to myself. I don't let Chris use this. Uh, I get him just like, he likes like the Crest with scope or whatever it is. But I don't let him have this because this is all mine. That's awesome. <laughs> um, I finished up a pretty good size uh, eye cream. It's I Hope by Philosophy. Uh, multitasking eye cream for dark circles, puffiness, and lines. Okay, this was a cream. I liked it, but I didn't think it compared to the Miracle Worker okay. that we really liked. Um, I mean, I think it's a good one if you're using this. It's probably great. I just like the gel, that gel feel of the mm -hmm. other one. And I like that the other one has, like, the retinol and mm -hmm. all that stuff in it. So, yeah. but anyway... Um, I finished up a bottle of my Nature Made Biotin, which I need to go buy another bottle of because I haven't replaced it since I finished this up. Um, this is for healthy hair, skin, and nails. I mean, I mainly go out and buy this because I do want to think that it helps my hair grow. Um, it may be my nails, although I don't think my nails grow really very fast. Um, but I, you know, I have cut some length off of my hair and I'm excited about regrowing mm -hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I really like taking these because mentally they make me think my hair is going faster. I think that's good. Okay. Well, this is old. Oh my goodness. But I finally did it. 
Vitazing. Origins Vitazing. Wow. I really do like this. It is good product. Um, you know, it's the one that comes out lightly tinted. And when I say lightly tinted, it just takes a little bit of the ooh, away. Do you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a tinted. People say it's a tinted moisturizer. Uh, it's not for me. It's mm -hmm. an energy boosting moisturizer with mango steam. So it's like their their eye the eye one. Like you can see, it's a little bit colored, but it doesn't go on like concealer colored. Right. But I just think it takes the shock away. I like the way it smells. I like the way it feels. Um, I haven't repurchased this yet, but I definitely will. This is not the first uh, tube I've right. gone through. Um, I just don't need it right now. But probably in the hot months. Um, I'm gonna get one mm -hmm. of these because sometimes if I don't really want to do a lot mm -hmm. I can throw a little bit of this one to take the scare away <laughs> and you know, maybe some lip gloss or whatever Um, I finished something that I really really oh. loved. This is my Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm I would definitely buy this again. I forgot how much that I loved it um, because I think I've talked about it recently mm -hmm. again yeah. can't remember what video that was in but um I had stopped using it for a while just because I got other things yeah. and then I came back to it and I was like, wow, I really <laughs> remember now why I loved this so much. Um, and I would buy this again. I, I like the way that it felt and it was really moisturizing and I, th I think that for an, a beauty balm, um, it gave good coverage. Like I'm not, look awesome. you know, as long as you're not looking for like major coverage. Right, because you're not going to get that in a beauty balm. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, I'm almost done. <laughs> I do have a lot of small things in here. Okay. Little guys. A lot of Origins this time. Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Serum. I finished that. And I didn't cut it because it's so freaking tiny. But I did squeeze the mess out of it. Uh, I like the way this feels. It does come out like a greenish brown. Which is kind of like, huh, okay. Um, but I think, I mean, it's small. So I don't know if it worked. But I think mm -hmm. if you're an Origins fan, you're you're getting good skincare. Mm -hmm. Uh... This is the Plant Scription... Oh, wait. Is this another... Is that the same? I think it is. Plant Scription Anti-Aging Serum. Yep. Okay. Same thing, but in a packet form. Finish that. I'm just going to do these real yeah, quick. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I'll save the two that I really liked for the last. Philosophy Full of C Promise. So it's treatment serum for volumizing nights with its vitamin C. I was shocked that th this is a gel form, which I did like. Um, I was shocked that I used this for several nights. Like, you think a size like this, maybe one or two nights, but this lasted, I think, for like five nights. Wow. Um, yeah, I liked it. It was thicker. I liked the feel of it. This surprised me. I really, really, I mean, it shouldn't. It's Lancome. Lancome, uh... Renergy. Renergy Lift Volumetry <laughs> Night. A volumetric lifting and reshaping night cream. Super, super hydrating. Really liked it. This felt luxurious when I put it on. Cool. This was something that I thought shocked me. Maskology 7 Day Moisture Day and Night Cream. Or 7D Moisture Day and Night Cream. Promotes the skin's production of vitamin D, which I think is cool. important. Helps diminish the signs of fine lines and wrinkles. Rich in nutrients help hydrate and create an overall younger, smoother appearance. I used this for a couple of nights, and I was kind of disappointed when I didn't have it anymore. Is Maskology sold at Ulta? Because I wonder if you can get I don't know. these products I'm going to have to look it up. Ulta. I can't remember. Oh, 7D means 7D hydrocholesterol. What? I don't know. Anyway, I really liked the way this felt, and I don't know, the fact that it had the vitamin D in it, mm -hmm. I was disappointed when I was done. So if I come across this, mm -hmm. I don't need to seek it out because I have a ton of skincare. Yeah. But if I come across this, I would not hesitate to get that. Cool. And then one more little thing. Yep, I just have one more too. Uh, Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser with Orange Extract. Loved this. Um, it's a cleanser and you're exfoliating at the same time. It's mm -hmm. got microbeads in it, so it's not a, it's not real abrasive. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, and I like the fact that it's doing two-in-one at the same time. And I cut this thing and got every mm -hmm. piece of it out. Yeah, that's a great product. Definitely one worth purchasing a full size of. Um, and then my last thing is the Clarins um, Bright Plus HP, which I really like their Bright, Bright Plus HP line. This is the Brightening Hydrating Day Lotion. And this was just um, like a deluxe sample size that came probably as like a free gift with purchase. And I do really like, I mean, all of their moisturizers are great. But um, I like the idea of brightening ones. I do too. Mm -hmm. I would buy a full size of this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple last things. Mindy showed hers. I'm showing mine. <laughs> Sensodyne. I have sensitive teeth. 
Um, this is extra whitening. I really like it. And like she said, I don't share. Uh, <laughs> Wes doesn't need Sensodyne. He uses Colgate or something. And I like to use that. Yeah. All right, my last few things. I think you showed this recently. I did. I well, did. you inspired me to check mine. It's yeah. the Dior Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. Mm -hmm. um, really didn't think that this did a whole lot. Would not buy it again, but it had already dried out. I mean, it's yeah. a, a hot mess it's in there. A dunzo. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's no, it's yeah. Not a good so, thing. waste in space. Mm -hmm. I did finish a Revlon Grow Luscious Plumping mascara the waterproof one i liked it um i like the regular non-waterproof one better mm -hmm. um, i still haven't found a drugstore mascara that i'm like wow yeah. but i keep trying them and then this was a lash blast Lux CoverGirl, and it was actually this was i think this was a green colored one i just i'm sorry i don't love the CoverGirl lash blast ones they don't do anything for me and probably it's my eyelashes are the problem but these big yeah. these big things like that it's been a long time since i've they, used that they don't work well for my lashes i just feel like it's too big for what i'm working and with and the bristles are short super short so yeah. i feel like um i see why people probably like it but yeah for me it just mm -hmm. doesn't work so done with that okay and we're done with our empties i think we did really we did good. and we didn't have so many that we needed to break this up into two videos yeah because uh, i know you guys like to see us together yeah um which we're really glad you do um <laughs> but yeah we finished up a lot of good stuff what have you guys finished up let us know. Let us know. Or let us know if you've used anything here mm -hmm. that you love. Or if you're going to add anything that we just talked about to your shopping list to go buy. Sounds good. All right, guys. We will talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. 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 I feel stupid. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>